Hello Cancer, it is CJ here to do your mid-September to the beginning of October 2022 general reading. I hope you're doing really well. For those of you that are new, welcome to my channel. It's great to have you. And for those of you that have come back, I have no words. Thank you so, so much. You mean so much to me. Um, and I really, truly hope you know that. All right, Cancer, our beautiful water sign. Let's get in to see what's going on for this second part of September, moving into October. I'm going to get you an energy card of what is around you or that you are working with or that is, you know, in your energy field. And then we'll get into a nine card block. So let's begin. All right, Spirit, for Cancer. Cancer or water sign. The last couple of weeks of September. Cancer. Ooh. King of Wands. Wow, that is powerful energy that is with you at this time. This is fire. It is all that stuff that is we are passionate about. It could be about you starting a new career. It could also be saying that you have already started something, your own business either, because the King of Wands, very entrepreneur kind of energy. A true go-getter, does not take no for an answer, even if times are hard, even if there's like little, you know, bumps along the way, very much convicted to what he loves. It's our passion, our action, how we move through the world. But in, most importantly, it is really following that burning feeling of what you know is right for you. Powerful card. Now, this can be um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Uh, does You don't have to have anyone around you that in that, but that is the energy. It is bold, being strong, and determined to not quit here or not give up on something. Okay, so let us get into the nine card spread. All right, Spirit, three cards to start for Cancer. Cancer. Last couple of weeks in September, okay. Two of Cups, wow, beautiful. I'm not sure what you do, Cancer, and obviously, you know, this is gonna be different for everyone. This could be about a relationship, but it could also be, like I said, about this career, about this choice, this business choice you're making. A lot of you, I'm feeling it's like an entrepreneur kind of position, um, side hustle even. You're very creative. You know, the cancers I know, they're artists, they're singers, they're, you know, very creative. With the, They use their hands a lot, which makes sense. Crab, right? Um, so if you are doing something like that, I feel like this is Spirit's way of coming through to say you are aligned with it. This is what you are meant to be doing here in your life, this journey. If it's about a relationship, it's saying that there's a really great harmony, a really great oneness that has come together here. But I'm gonna need more information. But my point is, is this is such a, I don't think I have a card in the deck that is more my favorite to tell me that I'm aligned with my path than the Two of Cups or to tell me that the person I'm with, we are completely in alignment. And when we are in alignment with what we love or with who we love, um, it truly creates this kind of energy where it is just winning, win, win, win. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking now. I've had the, seen the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck twice. So I have to say that this is an important awakening. There's something that is being illuminated to you that you are getting a lot of clarity in your mind if you have not been feeling that way cancer okay two more cards for cancer i love the two of cups there for cancer okay these. wow cancer the moon major arcana it is also your fellow water sign pisces showing up queen of wands look at this we now have a partnership queen of wands king of wands so if this is about a love interest or you're in a relationship there is a match here there are two people that are in very much in alignment which is what the two of cups is saying if this is about a business um queen of wands i love her energy you know the king of wands he's he's a little bit more 
feisty. He's a little bit more stern because he's, you know, he's the masculine here. And um, we all have masculine and feminine on, 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 in us, I should say. But he is just strong, you know, brave, courageous, really just won't back down from what he loves, which I think is very awesome. Um, Queen of Wands, same kind of energy, total go-getter. She doesn't take no for an answer either. She's just a little bit, because she's more the feminine energy, she's a little bit more like, she glows, you know? When she's doing what she loves to do, there is nothing that can stop her. And she creates magic. Again, magic coming out of her hand, two cups bringing the two together. So if this is, again, like about a business, I really feel that you may be at this place where you might not know, you may not be trusting uh, your intuition here, Cancer, um, because you may not have seen the success however this is applying to you. At this moment, you may still feel like you are in the dark and that you can't see your way forward and you don't know, is it really aligned? I think your intuition is telling you that it is, but you you know, sometimes our mind can kind of really start to take over and it can get in the way where we, you know, the wires get crossed when we're trying to listen to our intuition. Um, so I feel like the moon is representing that for you. But it is going to be illuminated. What you are not seeing at this moment is that you are going to feel really good. You're going to feel like you're in your power with however this is working for you. Let's continue. For Cancer. For Cancer. These last couple of weeks of September. Four of Pentacles. Okay. Four of Pentacles is feeling to me like... Almost like, I just want to choose my words carefully here. I feel like the Four of Pentacles is almost like, um, this is kind of that feeling that you may be going through once in a while because you haven't been able to see the success. You haven't been able to see that you are on the right path, that this is designed for you, that this is your meaning of being here. Um, if this is about your career. And Four of Pentacles almost feels like you are holding on holding on to, to pursuing it, but there's also almost a feeling I'm getting um, that you might be like almost fearful to believe that this could actually happen for you. Because maybe you've had a lot of rough times, maybe you've been on a lot of rough journeys, Cancer, in your life, and sometimes it can be really hard to keep believing and keeping the faith in what it is that we are wanting in our life if we're not seeing um, you know, the results as quick as we would like to. So there's something with this Four of Pentacles. I want to, you know, see, I'm just talking about the intuition here. The High Priestess is right at the bottom. So Pis another Pisces card here. All about your intuition. Let's get two more cards for Cancer. Four of Pentacles. You're holding back on something. Holding back of getting excited. Um, holding back because you just, you're not sure. Cancer. Two more cards, please. Two. Wow. Okay, so we've got the Hermit and then we have the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Now we got Virgo. Interesting, the Hermit card and the Moon card here for me, they look very similar. Um, we got the Five Pentacles on the, on the bottom. So that's what I feel like is happening. Um, there's some... Because I'm keeping it general, I'm just going to stay on this and, you know, just take the energy if it resonates with you. If this is like about career, your finances, right? But something that really is near and dear to your heart, something that you really do love doing, something that you create, could, like I said, a business maybe, right? Um, or it's just the, the, the path that you are on. There's something here I'm sensing a little lack of faith, a little lack of, um, <clears throat> of really believing that your dreams can come true because we have the Five of Pentacles showing up and that is an energy of lack. Now, maybe you've struggled for a long time with finances. You know, maybe your finances have not been very great. I mean, this world we're living in, Cancer, is one that is really, really tough. And it just keeps getting more insane every single day. So, so, ma so many of us are struggling, right? And so we do have to hold on to our pennies. And we kind of got to like, you know, um, it's, it's, it can be really hard to have faith in these trying times is what I'm saying. So the Five of Pentacles is letting me know that there has been times, or at least in your mind, there's been times where um, you have, you're feeling lack, lack of success, lack of money, lack of support, lack of seeing a growth happening. Um, but this feels like it is really changing for you. We have the Hermit. 
Spirit wants you to really kind of connect with yourself. They want you to really kind of, and I know it's not easy, but they want you to get really clear that you have worked a long, hard battle to get where you are. And I feel like they don't want you to stop. I mean, this is a huge, this is a mountain that the hermit is sitting on. And he has had to go up all of those stairs. And my apologies for my camera. Mercury retrograde always does this to me. Always screws up my camera and my computer. So I'm just, I'm ignoring it, right? Um, I'm putting the blinders on. So I hope you will too. And that the message still is coming through for you. But look at all the stairs this person had to climb to get that space, to get that clarity, to tap into their wisdom and really allow that to guide them. You know, wisdom connected with our intuition. So it's like this feels more, and it's pentacles, but it feels a little bit more mental to me. Like it feels more like I'm holding on because I really don't know if I can trust. I really don't know if I can believe that all of these beautiful things are coming my way because I've been in such lack, whether it is real lack or just emotional lack, right? Um, but for a lot of you, I do feel like it's a struggle with finances. But it's followed with the Ace of Cups, which is like that beautiful start. It's like trusting your heart, trusting you, Cancer, to know that you are filling up that cup and it's not going to be half empty. Okay, let's continue. Three more cards for Cancer. These three. There we go. Okay, so see, we've got the Page of Pentacles, yeah, and we have another four. We've got the Four of Swords showing up here. Okay, and we have the Ace of Wands. Wow, this is incredible. I do feel past hurts, past disappointments, past things that have felt like they have not worked out for you. You maybe at times have felt like, oh my God, you know, the energy is not supporting me because you've been broken before, you've been heartbroken, you've been disappointed with the Four of Swords showing up here. They really want you to know that this is a new beginning for you, the Ace of Wands. There is a new start here for you. Yeah, you may not see it right now, but you're going to be. We've got the Page of Pentacles, and yeah, Page of Pentacles, it's the very beginning, right? It's the start, but it's he's holding a big, big old pentacle, you know? And he's got one foot on the ground. He's trusting that he's going to know the direction to head moving forward. And what's the card after the page? It's the knight, right? So the knight of pentacles is slow and steady. I know it's been a long time. I can feel the, oh, I can just feel the energy of like, man, is this ever going to change for me? Um, how long am I going to have to hold on so tightly? Uh, but it is really changing for you um, in a positive way because Look, you're needing to take some time, you're needing to rest, you're needing to um, really make sure you're taking good care of yourself with the Four of Swords. Maybe get some more sleep if you're tired, you know? Try to do things that are going to help clear your mind, because the mind, you know, it can be, I was just telling, um, I think it was Taurus, you know, even last night for me, I woke up at around 3.45 in the morning and cancer, I was hit with every single kind of fear I could ever imagine, almost to the point where I felt paralyzed almost. I broke out in a heavy sweat because I almost felt panicked. And it's because we all have problems, we all got struggles, and we're all trying to do the best we possibly can here, right? And it is hard. But usually that nighttime stress, the nine of, sword, nine of, of um, swords, if it were here, um, the monsters always are bigger at night, or at least for me anyway. So why, why I'm bringing that up is because I feel like there's a need for you to kind of almost have to shut your mind off a little bit here and really try and rely on your inner knowing, your beautiful intuition here. They're saying it is in alignment with you. The person is in alignment with you, or this career thing is in alignment with you, and it's going to make you feel really, really good, joyful, peaceful, passionate, and exciting again with the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is a new start for you, and it's a big one. It is a huge one. It's my yes card. So if this is a question of, is this ever going to be successful? Yes, it is going to be successful, and it's going to fill up your heart, and the worry is going to dissipate a bit. I want to see what's on the bottom. Yeah, we got the Seven of Pentacles. That's what I'm feeling. There's a contemplative energy here that you're almost not quite believing, like, um, if you're working on something, oh, wow, this is incredible. You know, let's say you're working on starting your own pro your own business and you're not seeing the success, for example, but you know it feels in alignment with you. But the doubt, the fear, the lack, it has made you question because you haven't seen the results. 
Here's the seven of pentacles on the bottom saying that's exactly what is happening right now. You're looking at the little tree on the top, top of it because you cannot see what's underneath. You cannot see how stable this is going to be for you. Relationship or career, however it applies to you, right? Because there's a lot of pentacles on the bottom. And so this is a contemplation card of, I don't know, should I keep pursuing this or should I go somewhere else? Because there's so much I can't see yet. Well, it is followed by the six of pentacles, which is saying you need to keep pursuing whatever this is. It is equal. What you've been putting in, you are about to receive back. And it's even followed with the emperor, which is, man, in charge, in complete charge, Aries card. You know, controlling your life, being in control of your life. He's wealthy, you know, he doesn't have to struggle. He knows the moves he wants to make. He's a great leader. So, and so is the king of wands, a great leader. So, um, and nine of wands is after that, all about the determination to not give up. Nine of wands, wounded, soy, wounded warrior, but you know what? Still persevering, right? You've made it that far, so don't stop. Don't stop. I'm just looking to see what else was under there. We have the three of cups, so um, letter times. Let's get some clarifiers for you, Cancer. Wow. Okay. I shuffle off camera all the time, and there's an ace of coins now showing up in your reading. So if this is about your finances, which I feel for a lot of you it is, um, although I know you're all about home and family and heart and love, but, you know, you are a boss yourself. You're a cardinal sign. Um, you are a great leader. I feel like things are going to change here in the next two to three weeks, so just hang on. All right, let's get a clarifier for Cancer. Queen of Wands, thank you. What do we have? Judgment. Yeah, wow, powerful. Another major arcana showing up here. Um, judgment is saying that you are going to be the phoenix that's rising out of the ashes. You may not see it yet, but it's so important for you to hold on here. The moon, number 19, or sorry, number 18. Um, we have that full new moon in Libra. Is that, I think it's on the 22nd, 21st, 22nd. You know, there might be something happening here around that new moon because I'm not getting so much the full moon, I'm, I, although the full moon's on here. I'll leave that, I'll leave that message because I'm not getting it clear. But judgment has come out to clarify the Queen of Wands. It's like, finally, finally, I, I feel like you've, you probably have come close to giving up faith um, of this working out for you, of this meeting, having this good relationship, this good business. Judgment is coming in to say we are making things fair now. You are going to rise up out of the ashes. We've seen how hard you've worked. We've seen how you haven't given up. And we are going to, you know, it's a final judgment call here. And that could be what you're asking yourself, should I move in a different direction? But I feel you've got the support of the divine. All right, let's get a clarifier on the Ace of Cups. That's way too many. But the moon is showing up again. So it's like all this, all this hiddenness, all this, because you can't see what's around the corner yet. Let's try again. For the Ace of Cups for Cancer. This one. Oh my God. What was I just saying about, you know, releasing, forgiving, or not forgiving, just losing faith? The star, Cancer. The star is clarifying the Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, you are not alone. Your angels, your guides, whatever it is that you specifically believe in, you have them, they are behind you. They've got your back. They don't want you to quit up on this dream, this goal, this, this target that you're working at because they want you to have the Ace of Cups. They want that your cup to fill over with love and appreciation and feeling really content in your emotional health. The stars also wish wish fulfillment here what you've been hoping for what you've been waiting for what you've been wishing for that you have not been able to see is going to be granted and you're going to have this renewed hope and faith and i feel it's after a very very long time for a lot of you guys a long struggle for quite a while here we've got the ace of one eight of wands on the bottom which is telling me this is fast and of course this is a two to three week reading um i guess it, it could even go longer you know depending on where you are at we're all on different timelines Eight of Wands, fast shift, fast change. I feel like I want to get a clarifier on the moon. Let's clarify the moon. Why is the moon there? What is it that they don't see, that Cancer does not see? Ace of Swords, wow. 
you have three aces showing up here. What you don't see is getting illuminated. Ace of Swords is complete clarity, complete seeing, just eyes wide open. New way of thinking, new way of communicating. It is brand new. It's, it's, there's no more muddledness. There's no more holding on. There's no more murky waters. It is enlightenment that is coming in for you. So that's why the moon is here, but you can't see this yet. Where you're at right now, you can't see it. I can't make this stuff up. We've got the two of cups on the bottom again. Two, two of cups. Again, double confirmation, Cancer. Whatever this is about for you, I feel it is destined for you. It is your path. It's either your person or it's your path. You know, like, do you know what I mean? Because I'm not saying that this is a, a love relationship per se. This is, this is incredible. All right, let's get a clarifier for the Ace of Wands. What else for Cancer? Ace of Wands. This one. Four of Cups. Yeah, Four of Cups is that you're being offered this cup. You don't see it. I keep feeling this. Right now, you're not feeling it. I don't think you're feeling it right now for the majority of you guys. Four of Cups is three cups you've tried. You do not see the fourth cup. Oops. You do not see this fourth cup, but it is coming. You have a brand new offer. It's a brand new start new opportunity, however you want to look at it, but it is full, it's upright, and it is waiting there for you. I think you're going to get this awakening, this enlightenment very soon. Um, you're going to start to see that this is the right path for you, whatever this is for you. All right, let's clarify the two of cups for cancer. I feel like, and also the four of cups represents, see, you got four of pentacles, Four of Swords, Four of Cups. You got Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and Ace of Swords. There is so much clarity that's coming towards you. New start, a different way of doing things. But the fours for me, I love the number four because it's about stability. It's like a table, right, with four legs. But the thing is, is the Four of Cups for me is also that, it's that time in between when you're not, it's like the Four of Pentacles, holding on, Four of Swords, getting rest, disconnecting a bit. Four Cups is, I have been waiting forever <clears throat> for this change to come. <clears throat> and sometimes, when we're in that state, we cannot see the fourth cup that is being offered to us. You're going to get that illuminated for you. You're going to see how this works. Your card just showed up on the bottom. It is a chariot. Cancer, you are going to be in your power, in your strength. You are moving forward. You are going to have a lot of success going on here, whatever this is. If it's about love, it's going to be a successful union here. Um, but business-wise, career-wise, it feels like you are on the right path. But you know, sometimes, sometimes it just takes forever to actually get to see the results. But it's not forever. It is on its way for you. You got a lot of beautiful cards. All right, two of cups. Let's clarify the two of cups. Page of Swords, wow. Okay, I feel like this is going to be messages, some kind of message that's coming to clarify the Two of Cups. Positive. Um, now you got two pages, too. Page of Swords for me is a messenger. Now, this might be like you start receiving word from your client if you're starting a new business that, oh my God, you've got this huge order coming in. Um, this could be that you're receiving news. You're receiving some kind of news here that allows you to know that you are on your right path or with the right person. We've got the magician showing up now that you are in, you've been using your power to manifest. And as I always say though, it's always on divine timing. So just have patience here if this is resonating with you. But the page of swords, that's clarifying this beautiful two of cups union here. Wow. You're going to see it clear. You're not going to have any more doubts. Clarify the four of pentacles for cancer. Seven of Swords. Okay, so Seven of Swords for me is um, an energy where things, someone is taking from you. But in this case, I am feeling that that's why you're holding on to the Four of Pentacles because I feel like you're afraid you're going to lose it all here. Because you haven't seen what is really coming towards you, you haven't seen the abundance, the blessings, the gifts yet, um, there's a bit of a fear connected to this. And I really think that's why you're holding on 
holding on maybe and contemplating that you're going to go in a different direction because you haven't seen this yet. But it's, it's not, I don't feel anyone's taking anything from you. Do you see what, you know what I mean? Like, does that, how does that make sense? It's like, I feel like you are gearing yourself for losing things. But in the truth of it is that you're not losing anything. You are going to be gaining things. I mean, you have judgment. You have the star. You have all the aces here other than ace of swords. Or, sorry, ace of um, um, pentacles. But we did see the ace of pentacles, didn't we? And the hermit is in the center of your reading here. So, Cancer, this is really important here that you really got to tap into your beautiful wisdom. You Listen to you. Listen to you. I feel like you're on the right path. I really do. And I feel like this is just more fear-based. So that's why you're holding on a little bit. All right, final card, Page of Pentacles. What do you want them to know? What do you want Cancer to know? Page of Pentacles. Hmm. It's weird, I'm just getting this kind of strange pain in my um right side of my jaw, kind of where my teeth, you know, your jaws come together. Um, I'm not sure if someone out there is having that experience right now. Almost like, gr okay, I got it. I feel like you have been grinding your teeth, like you're like uh, clenching your mouth because you're waiting. You're waiting. You don't know which way to go. You're waiting for the answers to come in. So um, try to relax because it's coming. Look at all this new start. This is gorgeous. Okay. One more. Okay, five. The fool. There we go. There we have it. And death on the bottom. <sighs> Cancer. <clears throat> this is really, really huge. This is a breakthrough over these next couple of weeks moving into October. I think October is going to be... I'm, I can't, I'm excited to do October's readings. We have the fool clarifying the page of pentacles. This is this new start. And I also feel like they're saying, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit whatever this is you're working on. It is in perfect alignment with you. So this is about, this. the fool is about a new start, new beginnings, right? But it's about taking that leap of faith, really trusting in the faith, having that faith. I feel like I've said that a lot in this reading. The star, renewed faith. There is a new change in your world. And it's coming very quickly here. We've got death on the bottom, fellow water sign Scorpio. You got Pisces, now you got Scorpio showing up. Um, death. Old things are dying out. If you felt like you've been in lack, you felt like you have it's just been such a struggle. This is changing. There's newness coming in. A rebirth is happening for you. Beautiful. I love this. This is amazing. I'm gonna leave this card out. All right, Cancer. I'm gonna leave it there, but I'm gonna get you one final card, Treasures from Takashi. There's a lot to be excited for. I understand how nervous this would be, and I, I mean, I can relate to that a lot. Try to stay out of your mind. Try to stay more in your heart and your intuition. You're on the right path. There's beautiful new beginnings coming through, and a wish is, is, a wish is getting fulfilled. Wow. Okay. Spirit, one card for Cancer for this last couple of weeks of September for cancer. Thank you. Transformation has just come out. <laughs> well, that is what death is. That's even what the fool is because we go from the world to the fool. The world is, no, I know it's not showing up here, but the placement in the tarot, the world is completion. It's the end of one completion. You've got the new beginning. So with death and even the judgment rising up, renewed faith. Wow. Okay, let me read this to you. It says transformation is a gradual process. Look back and see how many changes have occurred and thank yourself for all the steps you have taken. Oh my God. I just... Now may be a time for a giant leap of faith. Cancer. Oops. You hear spirit is coming through clear, loud and clear. Cool. Now may be a time for a giant leap of faith. Or you may be ready for a journey into the unknown. 
Let go of the past and be free to move on. Renewal of strength and vitalization is upon you. Call upon your heart energy to see you through your transformation. Well, that's exactly what I was feeling is connect with your heart more than your head. Beautiful. Trust it. And then we have self-recognition on the bottom. I feel like I want to read it too. Um, and then followed with patience. I mean, oh my goodness. Yes, recognize yourself. You are a wonderful spiritual being expressing in a body. Now is the time to feel good about you. Make a list of your skills and attributes and discover yourself lovingly. Do not look to others. You do not need approval or recognition, recognition outside of yourself. Others may not be recognizing you at this time. Have patience and feel good on the inside. New opportunities are around. Be sure to recognize them. Yeah, you've got like major new opportunities. But I feel it is perfectly aligned with you and I feel it's connected with whatever, whomever, you've already been start that you, you know you've already started this process i don't feel like it's like you don't know what i'm talking about if you don't know what i'm talking about this is probably not your reading cancer um so and then we have patience be patient all things move as the timing requires quiet your mind take time to be with yourself with no expectations or push do not be anxious for results but enjoy the gentle journey in your busy world do not ru be rushed or allow the impatience of others to push you into hasty actions all things come to those who wait patiently. All right, Cancer, that is what we have for you. Beautiful reading. I hope this helps in some way for you. Whatever this is that matters so much to you, to your heart, to your connection, um, you're going to have it. You're going to have it. It's coming. You have major divine energy protecting you, guiding you, and giving you this. Lots of blessings. Okay, I wish you a lot of love. Have a wonderful remainder of the month, Cancer. Drop me a comment. Let me know how this may be working out for you. And I hope to see you back here.